the vector chain rule. This is backpropagation. Right? This is the mathematical engine of backpropagation. Well, the bridge is the idea of the total derivative. In the simple case, one variable affects an intermediate, which affects the output. We multiply. In the multivariate case, one input can affect multiple intermediate variables, and all of them can affect the final output. So you have to sum up all those different paths of influence. Okay. And the really beautiful insight for deep learning is that this whole complex process of summing up partial derivatives, it's mathematically identical to simple matrix multiplication when you use Jacobians. Wait, really? Yes. If you have a nested function, f of g of x, where these are all vectors representing network layers. The overall Jacobian is just the Jacobian of f with respect to g, mm -hmm. multiplied by the Jacobian of g with respect to x. So the change at the output layer is calculated. That's one matrix. And right. you just multiply it by the matrix that represents the change in the middle layer. That multiplication is what sends the error signal backwards through the network. And the dimensions have to line up perfectly. Say the final output f has m components, the input x has n components, and the intermediate layer g has k components. The first Jacobian, the partial of f over g, is an m by k matrix. The second one, partial of g over x, is a k by n matrix. And when you multiply an m by k matrix by a k by n matrix, you get an m by n matrix. Which is the exact right size. m outputs and inputs, the math just works. It's a consistent, incredibly fast way to calculate the influence of every single input on every single output, no matter how many layers you have.